It used to take forever, and by forever I mean ages to create a design elevation like this one in Archicad, and that's because there weren't any dedicated tools for that. And it became almost inevitable to use other programs like Photoshop or any other image editing to create some design elevations. But Archicad had a level which it could reach, and even with the best of efforts, it became almost impossible to create regions like this that are skewed because not everything in elevation is flat unless the design is so boxy that nothing is skewed in the elevation and as well areas which are rounded like this couch right here became almost impossible to create in Akikad. Well, that is about to change. What's going on everybody? Nathan here at Nanitech Studio. I want to welcome you once again and today we are looking at design elevations with Archicad. And today the example that we are looking at is a residential which I have been working on recently. And it has some interesting cool things going on. So the first thing that I would recommend you to do is to create your own library. And this is what I mean. Create an, a library which has lots of textures, lots of models, things like that that you use on your project. If I open here like in concrete textures, you can see that I'm starting to generate textures and of course the library will grow with time. Sites that I recommend to get this include a site like this one here, which is ambientcg.com. The link is in the description below. And in this site, you actually do not need to do anything. It's open source. You just go there and pick any materials that you so wish. And they are so high quality. And if I select any one of these, you can see that we have options of 2K all the way to 8K. So definitely good to go around and check it out and see what you can get from it. The second site that I recommend is sketchuptextureclub.com. All you have to do is to log in and you have access to loads of textures that you can use in on definitely on your projects. And the ones that I have used, I will attach them in the link below so you can try those out. So once you have downloaded the images, the next thing you want to do is to be able to bring that into Archicad. And the best workflow that I recommend is going to File, Library as an Object, Library Manager, and import your library here. So you can see I already have mine. All you have to do is to go to Add and find your folder wherever you have it selected. And that would be it. So definitely you can be able to use Archicad's default textures like these ones here. So this is a uh, stucco beige, beige, beige. I'm not sure what the pronunciation is, but that's a default material. This one is also in Archicad, but I as well, I was able to bring in more textures. For example, this one right here, it's a detailed image like you can see. And I feel like I want to move my hands across it. It's so detailed and so cool. Because that's the essence of texturing. It is to give surfaces a certain character that you wish to portray as a designer. And as well, you can notice some textures texturing around these pagolas. So in order to import in a texture, all you have to do is to go to options, element attributes, and surfaces. So in surfaces, we are going to add in a new texture. So if I go here and look up the stonework or two, this one I, I overrode, it was, over, it was overridden with this texture right here. So we can create a new one, which is very possible. I'll call it paver surface. And I'll say, okay, so here in exposure, I can choose a color that most like resembles that, which is a gray in my case. And after that, you can use a vector hatch that you need, but we're not going to use vector hatching now, but we want to use 
texture so under texture you want to browse click on browse and find the texture that you're looking for in the folder you attach so I'll go into mine find pavement and I'll use this one right here say okay and this is what it looks like pretty cool and this is about so the texture size I'll go with about 1.2 a little bit less than 1.5 so here you put in the texture, just make sure to keep the original proportion because when you mess with that, it's going to not look good, it will look skewed. And you can try randomizing, but nothing is going to change because our texture is seamless and not randomizable. So let's say OK and nothing happens and that's because we haven't applied it to any material. So if we select a surface like this and go to settings by Ctrl T and under here, we can override with paver surface and we say okay now we have it right there and we have our high res surface so that's exactly what you do for this part right here so go to settings and override them with paver surface and you're done so like i told you you can use archicad's surfaces for example this one here I prefer to use Akikad surface here, which is Stonework 12 here. Yeah, because it looks kind of good. It's a retaining wall, surface wall. All right, so that's all you have to do for texturing and stuff. So the fun part, you go to the elevation. And by default, we have something flat, something that's a little bit boring because I want to feel the depth. I want the elevation to make me feel something to feel like I would like to live here. So you want to go to the settings. So right click and go to elevation settings and under the uncut elements, you want to change from what it is to surface texture fill non shaded and say OK. And in an instance, this happens. All of a sudden we have everything textured the way that it properly should be textured. And that's it with just a single click. But to add a little bit of depth, we need to add a bit of shadows. So right click and go to elevation settings and under sun, you want to enable shadows and you can choose, for example, I can choose yeah, 25% of a black such that I have some thick shadows that create the depth and we are essentially done. So one more thing that you can do is to add some characters to make the house feel like it's being lived in. So type man in the object. So when you open the object tool, I'll just do one character that's on stairs. So. I bring it to front here in custom settings and in 2D. I like to change this to background such that I do away with the color and just have a black line, contour lines. So if I click here, there you have someone who is on stairs and enjoying the life of moving downward. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.